from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, an educational support program for intermediate level English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is for people of all ages. Now, if you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to help you meet those needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is Animals. This is segment one of episode 35. I have a question for you. Which domestic animal is most viewed on YouTube? Well, if you answered cats, you're right. Today, we're going to take a different look at cats. We're going to learn about, a, about stray cats in an organization in southern Oregon that works to rescue strays and put them into good homes. Let's start with this video clip. Almost by definition, stray cats need a home. Well, there's an organization here in Medford working in Jackson County in Southern Oregon that helps that happen, helps cats connect with a home, and appropriately, the organization is called Cats. So I'm John Letts on the scene of Cats, and we're going to find out more about what this organization does and how it does it. Office manager Sandy Fowler and board member Marsha Foster sat down for this interview recently. Fowler explained what this organization is all about. CATS stands for Committed Alliance to Strays, and our mission is to get the stray and homeless cats off the street of Jackson County, Oregon, and we get them, we test them for feline AIDS, and feline leukemia, we vaccinate them, get them warming medication, flea medication, we get them spayed or neutered, and we microchip them before we adopt them out. And they're, they're here in our shelter until they get adopted out. I asked what kind of person adopts from cats. A cat lover. <laughs> we, have, um, we have all sorts of people. We have single people, young single people who are away from home for the first time that are lonely. We have families that want to bring a pet into their, their family. We have older people who have gone through life and, and are, are lonely and want a companion, but a dog is too much for them. This work seemed to go far beyond a job for Fowler and other staff members. Volunteers seem equally committed. Marsha Foster began her work here as a volunteer. My background actually started as a volunteer. I came in and we had some review as far as being a volunteer. You come in, there's a presentation you go over, and you usually go around with another person and they train you. So you start in here, you can do everything from cleaning and you can help um, there's laundry, oh, everything, folding, prepping. We used to prep at night for the next day, have all the rooms ready, uh, so that the other cleaners that did come in later could do all that. And then it came to a point where that I was able to help with adoptions. When couples came in or an individual came in, you would work with them, take them around to see the different kittens and cats and go from there, which is very exciting. And then it just snowballed. I also work on different fundraising things for cats. And from there, I ended up helping out with different things. I did secretarial for the cats board for a temporary to help out because they didn't have one. And from there, I ended up on the board. And it's very rewarding. Extremely. <laughs> I 
I asked how many cats are receiving services. It can vary a lot depending on if it's kitten season and how many kittens. Um, we have two rooms that have condos in them. There's eight condos in each room. So uh, most rooms it's just eight cats in the room. And then there can be eight cats in here. This is uh, the playroom, which we lovingly refer to as the sumo room, because at one point in time all the cats were very large that were in here. But uh, during kitten season, there's more than that because we keep all the, the litters of kittens together in a condo. So there can be anywhere from, oh gosh, uh, about 24 cats up to about 40 cats, depending on how many kittens there are. And then we have an intake building yes. that has about the same and many, many foster families that we love and adore because they help us out greatly taking care of, especially bottle feeding babies, which take a, it's like having a, a human baby in your house. So um, right now, I think we have somewhere between 80 and 100 cats in, in the program, which is not all here on site. Yes, hi. Crazy. Where do you oh. get the cats? The cats, all of our cats are stray and abandoned cats. So they come from people who have found cats in their neighborhood. Um, we do take cats from, if somebody has passed away and nobody in their family can take the cat, we figure that's the ultimate abandonment. Um, we don't take feral cats. So there is a difference between stray and feral. A stray cat is a friendly cat that you can touch and pet and just doesn't have a home. Whereas a feral cat, really, they don't want anything to do with the human, any human interaction at all. They're going to run from you. If you back them into a corner, they're going to come out swinging. So we they don't, just don't make good pet material. They don't make it. good pet material. We don't, we don't do with ferals. Just We don't have the resources to do with the ferals. There's other... Um, uh, what am I of? organizations in the Definitely. community that, yes. that deal with those. So stray cats in Southern Oregon have a friend, or as we've seen, a group of friends, a committed community that helps them get adopted and get good homes. Reporting from Medford, I'm John Letts.